Uh, hi, my name is Eliza. This is, <laughs> this is my first time performing from anyone. Uh, I'm going to perform a poem of mine, it's called Masquerade. No longer is it right to be yourself. Not in a world where conformity is expected and judgment is second nature to self-preservation. It's no longer right to voice your opinion on different matters because your opinion doesn't matter. Having the thought synonymous to a crime, making us all prisoners of the mind. We're expected to be seen and not to be heard because we're imperfect creatures whose faults show in every word. Yet it's those with faults that must display perfection because sooner or later it's those whose faces will be criticized. And they will be criticized. They will be criticized for how well they can keep up appearances before they crack under pressure. They will be criticized for how well they can conceal the truth before light sheds upon them. They will be criticized for how long they will fit before they start to slip off. And they will be criticized because these faces are the masks we must wear when we leave our homes. These faces are the masks we must wear when we go out to society and expect to join the party. The party where people compete for the best dressed and latest attraction, for the fattest wallet and the sweetest fries, for the highest IQ and the most pride. So we'll play, we'll sway until the party's done because life's masquerade and what's life without a little fun. When the evening is over, we'll take ourselves home and we'll reach to take our masks off, just to realize that they're calling. And by the time we realize this, it'll already be too late because our masks won't be masks, they'll be our whole face. Instead, we'll see a throne of what we have become, but even though we've lost our true identity, the question then becomes, who were we really?